To get a sense of the size and power of Betelgeuse, we'll replace the sun at the center of the solar system with that star. Let's see what happens when a 10 solar mass red supergiant star is placed in the center of our solar system. Here we go. Look at the size of that behemoth. Here's the orbit of Saturn. The orbit of Jupiter is just at the outer boundaries of the star's equator. You see the flares and the prominences leaping off the red supergiant's surface, the photosphere. All the planets, this is now we have to remember. The sun is a one solar mass star by definition. This is a 10 solar mass star. So you're replacing a one solar mass star with a 10 solar mass star that's um, many hundreds of times bigger. It's going to completely disrupt the entire solar system. This is just, this would never happen actually in nature, but, and the sun would in fact never get this big. The only reason the sun's not going to get this big is it only has one solar mass when it exhausts its hydrogen and starts to burn helium, at that point it's a little swell to a red giant star. This is a red supergiant star. It's huge. Okay. Look what happens to the planets. Look at the prevailing temperature on Saturn. You click Saturn here. It's going to list the temperatures for Saturn. Here, what's the temperature for Saturn? Average temperature at Saturn is almost 800, degree, 800 degrees Celsius. Okay. The rest of the solar system is destroyed. This is just a hypothetical to show you what, ha what would happen. And the, and the comparative sizes of a red supergiant star and a regular main sequence star like our sun. Look at Pluto. Here's Pluto. Click Pluto and see what, see what the prevailing temperature on Pluto will be. 343 degrees Celsius. It's 200, 250 degrees above the boiling point of water on the surface of Pluto. Let's see. It'll tell us also how far their observational standpoint, our observational viewpoint, are looking at, at the star, how far, how far we are from the star's photosphere and surface. It's four and four and a quarter astronomical units in radius. Okay, that's four times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Our vantage point is 37 astronomical units. times that's 10 times the star's radius so we're 10 to, at this viewpoint right here we're 10 times the distance from that star that the, that the star's radius is 37 astronomical units it's 10 times the distance to Jupiter the distance to Neptune is 30 AU so right now we're seven astronomical units further than the distance to Neptune right now as we see this star at the center of our solar system.